Well, this was in 1952 in May. Uh, we had been on a, traveling in Europe for uh, about six weeks with my father and uh, going to a lot of, seeing a lot of different paintings in Italy and France and, and uh, some in London. And we just walked down Bond Street and with no appointment or no uh, aim in mind. When we came to the uh, art dealers, Agnews, Jeffrey Agnew said, I have something I want to show you, and you come upstairs. So we did, and it took us to a small room, a dark, very comfortable velvet-covered chairs, and we sat down, and they started to bring in pieces of art. Uh, they started out with very low quality things. And then they brought in the Caravaggio, this huge Caravaggio right in front of us, you know. And we were bowled over. We were just, just enthralled with it. They immediately get excited, send a recommendation to the trustees and to Paul Gardner. And following upon that visit immediately, and here we have, we have the copy in our archives of the first letter that depicts this, this, this visit. It's dated May 6, 1952. Of course, at the time, there's no fax or email, so I guess this took some weeks to come to the Nelson. The light was perfect on it. We, it was a darkened room where we were, but of course, the light on the picture was perfect. No, it was, it was just dazzling. It was just gorgeous, and we were just uh, very, very enthusiastic. The conversation goes on and immediately the trustees get excited over this and ask for the piece to come to the Nelson for viewing it. So it arrives, it's seen. Some of the trustees and some of the people, of course, during the month of July were not in Kansas City, so they asked for an extension. And that was uh, also so lucky because at the time that same painting was already being and had been courted by the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So the Met had passed on the Caravaggio, but the curators from the Met had alerted another collecting group that were actively seeking European masterpieces for the enrichment of the National Gallery. We were so lucky that the McCreevies were at the right time, at the right place in London, and that they had this is spontaneous and been blown away by this masterpiece and that all of the trustees reacted so well and so quickly. The brooding adolescent, that, that's dramatic, you know. It's a very dramatic painting. And it's beautifully composed and it's beautifully done. The pose and the self-reflection creates a tension and perhaps the tension is the moment of, of faith. Is, is he questioning his own faith? Is, is, is he at that kind of vulnerable moment between adolescence and manhood? There's a lot of elements that make this painting very poignant. I just love it. I, I still do. And, uh, it's it's uh, just a wonderful, wonderful painting. I would say that behind each masterpiece of the Nelson, chances are that you'll get such an exciting story. Collections and museums are defined by great masterpieces, and this is one of ours.